Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're going to be returning to Land of War, the beginning. This is a first-person shooter which takes place in World War II and allows you to fight Second World War from the Polish point of view during the German invasion of Poland in 1939. I am not sure how the game will unfold. Obviously, we know the Germans win in, in the invasion, but I don't know how the story ends. The beginning being in the title makes me think they were planning for more games in the series. I don't know if that's true or not, but we are picking things up. Uh, I believe it's going to be the hold the line scenario in the Battle of Warsaw. So we're going to get a little briefing here in just a moment that should give us more information. Warsaw has fallen. Oh, never mind. It is time we accepted that fact. We won't even be able to try and retake the city. I won't lie to you. The situation is tragic. For now, we have to concentrate on the most important thing, survival. Survival so that one day we can return and fight once more. Reaching hell is now the primary objective. The peninsula is still being defended and is an excellent crossing point across the border. Getting there will not be easy. The road leads through the Campinos forest. Enemy troops are already there, but they are few in number. Hopefully that will let us break through their line. Armored vehicles and outposts will try to block us. So far there has been no sign of the Luftwaffe and with a bit of luck it will stay that way. Stay alert, though. Okay, that uh, the captions were way behind the uh, the the audio there, but looks like our objective is to break out. I didn't realize that Warsaw had already fallen, but I think there's three chapters, two or three chapters left in this particular game. I think they might have added one more since the last time I played. I'm not sure if they're still developing more or not. But you can see it's September twentieth, uh, nineteen thirty-nine. Or in the Campnos Forest near Warsaw. The road was riddled with German traps. However, the sight of my countrymen during the journey filled me with hope. This guy is the most optimistic soldier in an army that has no hope. Every video he's like, I feel so optimistic. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, we're driving a tank. Hell yeah. Okay, so right click gives me the control of the turret. Or I guess the control of the gun. Left click fires. Is there a machine gun? We have infinite ammo. But yeah, I don't see I don't see a machine gun option. Maybe this TK I'm not sure. I mean, I don't see an option to fire whatever that is on the lower right. I'm guessing it's just my health. All right, so we got to move 80 meters this way. We're trying to go through the forest. Somehow we got a hold of a tank. Oh, man, this thing's like really doesn't have great handles. Need for speed drift Warsaw. Who goes there? Private Peter Kowalski and Henry Cordis. You don't look like a tank soldier to me. <laughs> where did you get the vehicle from? And where are you headed? Yes, I'm sure in the midst of the complete collapse of order and chaos in Poland, these these individual soldiers are sticking to their checkpoint, asking what individual uh, soldiers are doing in their tanks. We have set up an ambush and are waiting for the Germans. Frank, go to the sergeant and tell him we've got reinforcements. Just don't let them spot you. Yes, sir. Listen. The Germans might strike at any moment, so let's skip the formalities. What formalities? You just... The sergeant planned to put a tankette there in the woods, but ours got hit by a bomber, and we thought we were going to have to do without it. Oh, but Kowalski, here, you've been drafted. Take its place. Just hide well, and don't shoot until we open fire. Otherwise, the whole ambush will go to hell. Roger. Did you hear that, Henry? Let's head into the woods. Oh, yeah. We're going into the woods. Oh. Let's go ambush us some Germans. Whoops. Turn the wrong way. Woo-wee, we're cruising. 
Off-road tanking. Let me see if they know about us. Bye, nose. Where am I supposed to be looking? They see us. We are waiting for the German convoy. How do we know there's a German convoy coming again? I just like supposed to sit here. Here they come. We come in swinging as soon as the first shots are fired. Okay. Fire. Reload. Apparently there's a whole bunch of grenades over there. I don't think my tank would be terribly useful. I guess these are Mark II's, I think. Judging by the fact that they only seem to have machine guns. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do to hit the enemy target. Like, I'm hitting him. We're not destroying anything, but I'm hitting him. We, we've got the... Did I die already? Oh, no, that was the bad guy. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't be sitting here and just eating fire. Oops. What do you mean leaving the combat zone? I'm fine. Oh, there's a tree. What am I doing? So there's a lot of machine guns shooting at me. My health is dropping pretty rapidly. All right, got one. I was going to say, these guys don't blow up real easy. Who's hitting me? Anyway, it's this guy. Ah, missed. Ah, uh, missed again. Shot too low. Lost about... Come on. Lost about half our health. I can't hit any of these guys. Speed Demon. Close the distance. Got him. I mean, he's not dead yet, but these cutscenes on them blowing up is very jarring. I'm glad we at least have a have a gun, unlike the Germans. Whoa! How the hell am I supposed to aim like this? Also, he doesn't appear to be shooting at me. Oh, now he is. He's turning anyway. Reload faster! get my tank repaired because we lost like 60% of our health. Tank on ice. Damn right. History of the Great War. Good to see you. Yeah, I'm sure the division is really badly needing an individual tank at all that extra firepower. Uh, where are we going? Can, can I repair myself? I'm guessing not. I'm guessing there's no, like, health packs for this thing. Leaving on a tank at... Don't oh no when I'll be back again. Damn, they're regrouping. I don't even see anything. Oh. Was that a common vehicle? We need to destroy it. I'm stuck on the side of this damn mud. Oh that that is definitely they've got a gun. That's not a Mark II. That looks like a Panzer IV. Reload faster. Oh shit, no wonder I was, I was firing this one at a time. This is like an automatic gun. That's what the 10 rounds or whatever on the lower right is represented by. Well, now that I'm almost dead. God, I can't. 
And I'm dead. I mean, he's overrated. Yeah, just about. At least I start back with 50 rather than back where I started this section of the map. I think it was like a 38. All right, so we'll use our, I guess it's like a chain gun. <laughs> Can't see him. Damn, they're regrouping. Whoa, was that a common vehicle? We need to destroy it. You won't die. Okay, so it's a little bit better. Reload twenty millimeter auto cannon. It's a little bit bigger than that. Just the cover. Get after it. It's getting away from us. Ow. Got him. Like a half track. God, I can't keep the turret on the enemy target. They don't seem to do a lot of damage though, so that's nice at least. Oh, there's like that's like a Puma like recon vehicle, isn't it? Ah. Can't see shit. It went left after it. Really? He's not shooting at me. Did he crash? All right. Well, he's just blew up. Reload faster. Kind of a bit of a crossfire. I'm taking fire from straight ahead. I'm gonna back up a little bit. I'm gonna die again. Don't shoot. Just looking for the hit hit markers. I'm about to die. And yeah, there we go. This is not very fun. Thanks for the cross there, Super Cheese. Yeah. I wonder if we just don't aim, like don't use the turret to aim. The difficult this thing the difficult thing is this thing's like a damn stug. It doesn't have a rotating turret. I'm still taking quite a bit of damage. We're gonna watch for that. Oh wait, I get more health in casual. That's that's where it's at. I'm like stuck on the side of this damn. Why is it not shooting? Get lit. All right, I'm curious if I wait here for a little bit, if I'll get more health. It looks like I do slowly. So that's the casual advantage. Get some. All right. 
Got another one. Got him. Come on. It's good. It's good that the Polish tanks are so good. Clearly the doctrine was superior. Yeah, I don't know. That's the one of the problems that a lot of games like this have, I think, is this idea of just like, you can take a certain number of machine gun rounds. It's like a machine gun. I don't think a machine gun's going to wear down a hunk of iron over time. If the, if it doesn't penetrate initially, it's not going to penetrate. So, you know, just keep, keep lobbing machine guns at you. It shouldn't actually impact your hit points. Let's chill here for a moment. Let our health get back up. Yeah, 50 cal would probably penetrate. Right, but like, if one rifle round wouldn't, then 50 probably wouldn't either. Speed off, lads. He's going for the swamp. Follow him. Who was he? I don't even see anyone. He's going for the swamp. Follow him. Water. Be careful not to flood the engine. Stick huh. to the shallow areas. That's a neat mechanic. Whoa, we're falling into the water. We're gonna flood the engine. No! I hate life. Look, water. Be careful not to I mean, there are no markers here. That's the problem. I think the reeds are supposed to be the shallow areas. Also, I'm pretty sure based on the way I'm like running into a wall there, it doesn't want me to go right there. So that looks, if I look at the ground here, that looks like it could be a shallow area. Okay. So the reeds aren't the shallow areas, huh? Oh God. There we go. I never. This is so much fun. See, I never would have thought that the reeds would be the deep area. I would have thought the reeds were the shallow area. I have a hunch that this tank would be completely stuck in mud by now. Hey look, it's a little weaved, a perfectly weaved track right through the, the swamp. It's almost like tanks have used this rod before. Thanks for the follow, Kethwitch. Cruising on the tank at don't know when I'll be back again. Oh no. Oh we're slipping. Don't you dare fall. Oh over there. They got stuck in the water. They're running uphill. I'll fire at them. Yeah, you will. If I well I can't raise my gun on them, so Nope, we won't shoot at the running away soldiers, I guess. Wow, the physics in this game. If that's what you can call them. Come on. I'm stuck. On our left, a German convoy. One is coming right at us.
Blow up. Convoy of one. Okay. It's stuck. No railings here. God. Watch me like go over and flip the tank if that's even possible. Um, oh, these are Germans. What? No! Is this really all I have is a pistol? Reload. Do I have another gun? Oh, I'm getting shot up. I honestly don't even remember how to like do anything. There's got to be a weapon change setting, right? No. Oh yeah, I forgot the controls are wonky on this. They don't tell you anything. R F. Yeah, I think it is. I don't think I have any other weapons. Oh, I'm taking, taking hits. Just blow up the barrels, I guess. If <laughs> Jack Reacher can do it with a rock. How am I going to hit? Oh, okay. If they just, all they have to do is just chill. Oh yes, the epic Polish counterattack that would save the day. Oh sweet, now I gotta be a gunner on a... Use the main and second weapon. Use mouse wheel to switch between main and second, okay. Oh hell yeah! Do I control the tank or is it on rails? Is he gonna drive for me? Number two, moving out. Yeah, he's gonna drive for me. So I control the gun. That's it. Number three, moving out. We're in a Polish armored column. Number four, moving out. Seven nine two millimeter thirty caliber machine gun, a thirty seven millimeter anti tank gun. We got this thing, boys. Oh god, it got real quiet. I'm shooting them. Oh, that's a tank. Could just stop, I could shoot at him. Oh shit, he's ahead of us. So they all take two hits to die? Okay. Take care of the cannon. I can't get the fuckers. Got them. Some precise machine gun work right there. Stop moving so I can get the turret on him. Ah. You're not taking that many hits to the side of the damn tank. Fuck. 
forwards unto victory for the Polish army. This is the counterattack that will surely win the war. Somebody shooting. Oh, I just shot at my own boys. Get them, lads. I'm glad they're all just standing up for us to like mow down like. Damn you unstabilized turret. Yeah. We are entering the camp. I see that the crowds have dug trenches. Fire at them. Alright. Oh, there were troops directly to my front. Pretty sure I just let what artillery. I can see nothing. The hell am I supposed to be shooting at? Okay. Got one. Like, also, why is the enforcements? Shit. Got one. Thought I was gonna get two. The Mark II is not withstanding that. Wait, did I die? My health was way better than that. I thought I was still at like sixty. I guess I'll just try to pick him off here at range. I don't know what artillery I'm shooting at. I can't see shit. Gotta love taking damage from who knows what. Don't turn. Okay, we got those guys. More tanks. Where? Oh God. Well, at least they're dying in one hit. Some of them anyway. On the way. Victory is close. Get to the airport on the double. Get to the airport. What are we doing at the airport? Gotta love that lob shot. Low velocity for sure. Although I think a 37 millimeter would be a high velocity shot. Destroy those tanks. Oops, I thought you meant destroy those planes. 
Okay. Yep, just go right behind him so I can't see. Oops, that was high. of them. I still see them. We made it. The airport is ours. Is it though? German aircraft, Polish aircraft. I see a Polish fighter there. I'm guessing they get to fly that in the next one. And you know how to fly planes? Okay. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for this episode of Land of War, the beginning, a new first-person shooter out that looks at World War II from the Polish perspective during the German invasion of 1939. Uh, this is, I believe, the third to last chapter. I thought it was the last chapter going in, but apparently not. Uh, and it includes you fighting from tanks or tankettes or whatever. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be looking at the air combat scenario uh, before we eventually wrap it up uh, in the final scenario of the game, I believe. So until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I'm out. <laughs>